Hey everybody, uh, my name is Nick. Today we're going to show you how to change the swivels on a dual plane swivel bike. Changing the swivels isn't something that you'll have to do very often, only when you have a leak and it's probably indicative of some other problem like dirty hydraulic oil or building up too much heat or maybe even a damaged stem. But either way, we're going to show you the steps on how to do it right now. Dual plane swivels, uh, they allow the hoses to flip around and swivel while you're working the tool around the flange. If you've ever done any of this kind of work, you know that managing these hoses around the work area is the most annoying part of the job. Uh, and this is supposed to make it a little bit easier. There are four seals and Teflon backup rings in each one of these dual plane swivels. Uh, like everything else that we make, it is designed to be simple, easy to maintain, so that it can be done with basic tools. For this job, the most the most sophisticated piece of tooling you'll need is a $5 set of dental picks and a shop vise. You may also need some needle nose pliers and some cutters. I've got those here, so let's get started. Okay, so the, the dual plane swivel is in the shop vise. We're ready to go. I've got my dental picks right here, and this is easily the most difficult and most annoying part of this job is getting this clip off of this piece. And then when you're finished with that, there's another one. There's no easy way to do this. You just got to get underneath it. I like to get under it. And then once I use a small flathead screwdriver once I got it started. But this can be a little bit of a hassle. Now we're going to open our vise and we're going to chuck on this small hex so that we can now start to work on that little clip. may help too, just as an added, when you get one of these things, take a, take a pair of pliers and just give them like a gentle spread. Should have seen me trying to do this with new springs, it's just hard. Uh, now that you've got this in here, you may be able to work it off by hand. You, you, you kind of should be able to, but this one is a little bit tough to get a grip on. You've only got that one little bitty hex. But these two here is another stem. You should just be able to pull them apart like that. And if you have to right here, you could just gently push. And that exposes the seals and that's everything this is the four seals and the four backups so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put them back in the vise we're going to pretend that they're bad and we're going to cut them out and put in new ones start with this because that's the one i'm holding And there you have it. That is disassembled. These parts are done. You're ready to wash them out. You're ready to clean them. You want to make sure that you got a, there's a hole in here, a cross hole for fluid. You want to make sure it's not rusted or pitted or damaged. You've got threads here, another cross hole here. It's all very simple, it's just big steel parts. Uh, same thing here. You want to make sure that nothing's going through here. There's no, see a little metal piece. I'm going to get that out. Stuff like that that happens when you open up tools, hydraulic tools in the shop. So take this over to your parts washer. Spray it down with your cleaner, get it nice and clean. Okay, so now you've got the swivel stem in your vise standing up, ready for some seals. You wanna get some lube. Don't really need to be too pretty here. You really just wanna make sure these threads aren't gonna be a problem when you're sliding the seal over it. Again, let's get the backup in first, because that is way easier to get into an empty slot, as long as you don't drop it on your shop floor while you're trying to film a video. And again, here you're going to use your picks. So hook your seal. Be gentle here because these are hardened O rings and they can cut. So you're just pulling it down. You're also holding on a kind of a small hex. So that's why it's wanting to walk around on me. Again, we're going to get the back up in first. Not sure if that's the best way to do it, but that's the way that I do it. Gotcha. 
See those ready on your picks? Drop them on the ground. Pick up another one. And we're going to start again. Using my thumbs a little on this swivel so that I don't push the stem all the way around the shop. All right, this guy's good. It is ready. I'm gonna put it to the side. Y'all can look at it right there, if you can see it. And I'm gonna put, her, put this, this is called the dual plane body. It doesn't have a threaded connection. It's simply meant to push over this. But it also holds seals and backups. So again, take the Teflon backup that I just took off of that last one. Second ago. Grab another ring. Don't forget to put some vacation there. That guy's good. One more Teflon backup, one more O-ring, and then we'll start putting them together. That's our last backup, that's our last O-ring. Try to move this to where y'all can see it. Actually be helpful. I've got a backup that's trying to live somewhere else. Okay, that's it. Now both of the seals, both of the stems have seals in them. And most, for the most part, if these things are lubricated up pretty good, they should pop through by hand, but not always, and that's okay. If they won't go in by hand, you don't want to hit it with a hammer, whatever you do. So the best way to do it is use your vise and use an extra swivel body and just push it in gently and you'll feel as it goes you'll see it go it's going to get past one seal then it'll get past another seal and then it'll be in so that's it this one's in now you have this last part to get in again maybe it goes by hand and this one did so now it's nice and easy and we can take our revenge on those clips clip here and a clip on the threaded half. It's possible that you could just work it in like this with your thumbs. Some people can. I apparently cannot. So I take my little screwdriver and I just load it up. Make sure it's all the way in. It snaps down so I know it is. Now here, I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna spin my dual plane out of the way. Put it back in the vise. And I hope this one goes in as smoothly as the last one did. However, if not, we got another trick for that too. But it does. This one is, it started pulling away from the vise a little bit. In there, and it snapped. Now, if it doesn't, the easiest thing to do at that point is take another piece, another dual plane piece, load your seal up like so come in right here small hammer and gently tap that's it and when you see it in there you know it's right so this one's right this is loaded up these swivels have been disassembled old swivels taken out new swivels put in ready to go uh, put a quick connect on it thread it on the tool and test it Okay, so that is how to take apart the swivels. That's how to put them back together, how to change the seals, things to look for, how to fight that spring clip. If you have a better idea on that spring clip, trust me, I am all ears. Um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. If there's anything else that you guys would like to see, let us know in the comments or on the website or email us at torquelight.com. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day.